Well, there's been a lot of talk about deadlines lately. Last month, it was the government shutdown, now health care enrollment. But there's another one not getting much attention. Come 2014, the GED, or high school equivalency exam, will be more difficult and more expensive. They're studying math today at this tutoring session in Dorchester. It's the last subject 24-year-old Howard Thompson needs to pass before earning his GED. It's been a challenge. You know, I got to refresh my memory and stuff I forgot back. But the staff have been working with me, and I've been proceeding pretty well. Thompson moved to Boston several months ago from Memphis, where he was kicked out of high school after 10th grade. He failed at early attempts to get his GED. I didn't take it serious. I was young and immature. But now, you know... I see, I see the importance of it, and I need it. If I want to do better for myself, I need it. Thompson is on track to finish at year's end. That's just in time, because come January, a harder, more expensive GED will replace the current one. For 53-year-old Fred McAfee, that means starting all over next year since he won't finish up in time. It's something that, you know, when I started, you know, I wanted to do, and it doesn't matter what officer get in the way and how long it's going to take, you know, something I, that I want to do. McAfee says his biggest motivation is his three children. Another one is his job at the MBTA, where he's been a bus driver for 27 years. When I started back then, you didn't have to have a high school diploma, but now you do. And so I cannot, you know, change position without getting that, you know, either GED or high school diploma. McAfee's not alone, says Katie Erisman, who coordinates the adult education program for Boston Public Schools. She says more students are recognizing they need to get the GED to advance. The requirements where they work have been changing, and they're worried. You know, they don't have the confidence that they're going to be able to pass it, or they feel like they should have done this earlier, and now the ground shifting under their feet. The GED is revised every 10 years or so. This upgrade will be modeled after the Common Core, a national standard for college readiness. And for the first time, it will be completely computer-based. The bigger question is computer time, um, technology access, making it uh, very clear to our students that it's not going to be a quick, easy, sit down, take the test, and you're done. Um, it's new. We Meanwhile, Howard Thompson says he'll finish up and try to inspire others who are just starting. It's never too late. I ain't an old person, but, you know, I ain't, it's never too late. All right, well, half a million adults in Massachusetts do not have a high school diploma. And until recently, my next guest was one of them. Alberto Rodriguez completed his GED in June and is now a student at Bunker Hill Community College. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So, Tell me your story. Did you drop out of high school? Um, actually, I did drop out of high school due to um, emotional and behavioral issues, and I was just wasn't focused in that big environment. So um, I got out of Charlestown. I went to Charlestown High School. Like after I got out of Charlestown, um, I was out of school for about six or seven months, and then um, I finally decided that I, I need to go back to school. I need this if I want to make a life of me, you know. And mm -hmm. So, um, my current girlfriend now, she told me about College Bound Dorchester and I should go and check them out. So, um, I went there, um, I basically explained my situation and what I wanted to do in my life and they took me in with open arms, so. Wow. I, I didn't realize the test, the GED is, like, it's like five different exams and in, in the current one, it's a paper thing, right? So yeah. you didn't take it on a computer? No. Um, what what it was, it was a paper form test. Um, Is it hard? Um, <laughs> yes, it's challenging at first, you know, but if you know what you're doing and you study real hard and you try at your best, you, you can pass it with flying colors. Mm. And and you did? Yeah. <laughs> and now you're at Bunker Hill. What, yes. are, you what are you studying? I'm um, studying business. All right, business, that's great. Yeah. All right, I want to bring in my next guest here, uh, Mark Culleton. He's the CEO of the nonprofit Dorchester, uh, College Bound Dorchester, which Alberto, Alberto went to. So you, how, many, how many students like Alberto do you have coming through the doors every day? So we see about 100 students a year that have uh, been pushed out or dropped out of school and trying to get 
their GED and then, like Alberta, go to college. Every 10 years, the GED changes. It's like the census. You know, they, they, they catch up to academic standards. And this actually sounds like a good plan to put the thing online. That's how a, a lot of things are being done now. Um, SATs, all that kind of stuff you can do online. Do, do you support the changes? Yeah, I think it's a good thing to do. I, I guess I don't think it's a great plan in terms of how it's being implemented. But I think the idea of updating it, I think the idea of sort of 21st century skills that students have to learn, uh, because you really do need post-secondary uh, education now to take a full advantage of the opportunities in Boston and other places. So you need those kind of skills. So it makes a lot of sense. It's, uh, it's just going to be a lot more rigorous than it has been. It's going to take a lot more recess, resources to get students ready. Because a lot of the same people that they're targeting you know, to, to take the GED are people who are less likely to have a computer, a personal one anyway. So is that one of the issues? Right, certainly. And a lot of students do have computers at home. But if you're going to do the instruction, you'll want to beef up your computer lab. You'll want to just spend more time. At College Bound Dorchester, we have about 15 computers. But if you have a class of 25 and you want everyone working on them at the same time, we can't do that. that that's true probably in programs throughout the state. So it's that sort of resources for technology, but also resources just for a, a, a higher level of uh, thinking and problem solving and it's just more time in a classroom which is more instructional time which again I think it's great I think you're right it's what we need um, it, there's just a lot of changes that are going to happen. Alberta when you got into the program were you aware that the whole thing was going to dramatically change or you just um, got into it to get going? Yeah at first I didn't I didn't have any idea I just knew I was supposed to study and then take a test and I was going to get my GED. Um, after a couple months, I started actually doing some research on it, and then I was finding out that the following year or, or sometime soon they were going to be changing it. So my goal was to get it before they changed it, yeah. before it was more expensive and more um, challenging. So that's what so you, you were aware. So I guess it went from it, it started. It was sixty-five dollars. That was is that what you yeah. paid for, it? and it's going to, going to go to one hundred and twenty. Yeah. What was it about? Was it did it make you nervous? The idea of taking it online. What? What? Why did you feel the um, urgency? That's exactly why I was nervous because I'm not. Well, I wasn't really the technology person, mm -hmm. whiz or anything like that. Um, I was actually discouraged by the fact that it was online. And that's just not what I was used to. So I was used to practicing <clears throat> on paper um, from past GED tests and things like that. So that was kind of nerve-wracking for me. Hmm. So uh, the computer aspects of this, though, have, have you ever sat down and tried to take it yourself? On the, I mean, you well, teach no, it. Well, no, I mean, so we, like don't, we don't know exactly uh, which test it's going to be. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's because that's, Massachusetts hasn't quite decided right, right. Who, so what that's, company they're going with or something exactly, like that. Exactly, exactly. So that's one of the big challenges for places like College Bound Dorchester or other places is, you know, it's about a month away. There's going to be some big changes. But, and we'd love our instructors to be able to go on and know it really deeply. And um, so we don't have that level of, of knowledge. Oh, so you I'm don't really know what to teach right now in exactly. terms of, I see. Exactly. Because so you it, haven't seen it yet. Right. I mean, we know it's going to be closer to the Common Core, which is what we teach from anyway to to prepare students for college beyond the GED. But uh, which the what the actual mm -hmm. test is, which one it's going to be, the the state hasn't decided yet. I mean, I think they're trying to make the right decision, and it's a it's a huge decision. Mm -hmm. So they're being thoughtful about it. Uh, it's just getting closer and closer to the deadline, and so we've had to tell our instructors, you know, we'll know any day. Uh, and then we'll have to make some dramatic changes to how we teach, what we teach, what our materials mm -hmm. are, really quickly to be able to serve students like, you know, mm -hmm. Alberto is like so many of our students just genius and full of possibility and just needs support to, to get through mm -hmm. this, this step. What was the hardest part of the test for you? Um, <laughs> definitely the math. Yeah. Yeah. They, they ought to drop that. <laughs> uh, I'm serious. Well, no, you're never going to use it again. Yeah. We, none of us do. It's crazy. Yeah. Now we've got computers. Yeah. We've got right. Yeah. yeah. Well, we we need we need math. We need we need thinkers in, yeah. in Boston for the middle skills. Well, jobs. for the people who yeah. want to do it, but but, but as it. a requirement, it's like sort of I don't know. 
<laughs> well, it's, it's, it's higher level thinking that goes behind the problems, All right? right. Yeah. 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 Sorry. I tried, Alberta. <laughs> Alberta Rodriguez, Marco Vidan, thanks so much.